Hello rail fans, and welcome to another French Fried Trains Minecraft Locomotive Tutorial. Today, we're going to be building this Burlington Northern GP30. So let's get right into the build here. So as usual, the first step is to take out a dark oak stair for the coupler, and we'll get that attached up. Underneath it, we put a dark oak fence gate for an airline. Then we'll delete the fence gates on either side of it and replace it with dark oak fences, two of them on each side. Then we're going to take out a polished black stone stair on the next block down and we're going to get five of them on bottom coming across the rails right side up. Above that, a polished black stone block in the middle and two upside down stairs on either side of it. In front of that, we're going to put a three block tall T-shape of polished black stone blocks in the middle. And then an end rod on bottom above each rail. Then we'll swing around up here and put three upside down polished black stone stairs facing that way. In front of this, we're going to do a five by three of polished black stone blocks. Then in this gap here, we're going to put three smooth quartz slabs coming up on the bottom hit boxes of all of the blocks to be the stairs. I was having some trouble doing it here. Just like this. Then of course we'll do the same thing over here, so three slabs coming up. Then we'll swing around in front of it here. We're going to do our first set of wheels, so skip one block forward from this and get a netherite on each rail with an end rod axle. Then we're going to take polished deep slate stairs upside down, facing forward, and five wide. Then we'll skip forward by one block, and another row of upside down stairs facing forward. Spin around here, and a row of upside down stairs facing the other way, and the gap between them. Then we'll skip one block forward, and get another right on each rail, with an end rod axle. Then go back to our stairs in a row of five facing backwards here. So you're making this M shape with the stairs from the side view. Then we're going to put dark oak fence gates opened into the ends of the wheels here and open into the ends of the wheels on this side here. Then on the second layer, we're going to fill in the top middle three with polished blackstone blocks and we're going to bring it down the length of the truck one block past where the fence gates are. Underneath that, we'll put three on the very bottom. And then coming off that bottom block, we're going to put a row of outward facing, upside down polished black stone stairs. That's 10 blocks long in total. Once you have 10 blocks, three polished black stone across this end. Same thing on this side, upside down polished black stone stairs facing outward. 10 blocks long until it meets up over here. Then we'll continue filling this top middle three in down to the end of this wheel tank. Then we'll do our next set of wheels to so skip one block forward from this, nether right down on the rails again with an end rod axle. And then same as before, five forward facing upside down, polished deep slate stairs, skip a block forward, in another row of five facing this way. Then in this gap, five stairs facing the other way. Skip a block forward from this. Get another right on the rail. Spin around, five stairs facing backwards here. So it makes that M shape. Then an end rod axle and another another right wheel here. Then we'll open dark oak fence gates into the ends of these wheels and also into the ends of the wheels down here. Then we'll go back to polish black stone block and continue filling the top middle three in down the length of the truck and we'll stop above where the fence gates are. In front of that, we're gonna make a five by three of polished black stone block coming out to each side of the rails. In front of that, a T-shaped pattern in the middle with an end rod down above each rail on bottom. In front of that, we're going to put polished black stone stairs, five wide, 
facing forward down on the rails. On the next level, a block in the middle, two upside down stairs on either side. Then three upside down stairs on the top middle. Then we'll switch to a dark oak stair for the coupler, turn around and get it stacked up to the second block. Delete the ones we used for placement. Underneath it, we put a dark oak fence gate, and then we'll open fence gates on either side of the coupler. Then we'll take out a smooth cord slab and put three of them on the bottom hip boxes coming up this gap and on this side for the stairs. Then we'll take out polished blackstone and we'll fill in the top middle three on the third layer going end to end. Now we'll swing around on the sides of the truck here and everywhere there's a wheel we're going to put a hopper on the side of it and then we're going to do a row of deep slate polished slabs across the top. Same here, so hoppers in front of the wheels, polished deep slate slabs across the top. And of course we have to do the other side, so hoppers in front of these wheels, polished deep slate slabs across the top, and hoppers in front of these wheels, slabs across the top. Then we have to decide which end's the front. My front is facing the void, so this is the front. On the front of the fuel tank, we're gonna put a player head on each side, then a sideways crimson sign on each side. Then we're gonna put a row of sideways anvils across the top edge of this fuel tank to be the air tank. Same thing on this side. Fuel tanks from the back all the way up to that sign. Then we're gonna take out a chain, put a chain here, a chain here, a chain in this gap, and a chain in this gap. Same thing over here, a chain here, a chain here, a chain in this gap, a chain up here. Then we're going to take a polished black stone slab and we're going to go end to end on the top outside edge of both sides. Next, we're going to come on top of the front, in the middle, on the third block back from the end. We'll put a white concrete, a lime concrete, a white concrete. Then kitty corner out one, we do the opposite. So lime, then white, then lime. On this side, behind it, one lime concrete on bottom, a column of three on the other side. Then we'll put a warp door right here, and then a lime shulker box on bottom of this outside edge in front of it. Same thing on this side, then four more lime shulker boxes coming back on each side. Then above the lime shulker boxes, we need to get lime concrete. Starting from the back, come four forward. Same thing over here, so get lime concrete up there and make sure it's four blocks long. Above that, lime concrete in each corner, then smooth quartz in the middle of each side. Then above that, a polished black stone block in each corner. Then we're gonna take out cyan stained glass panes, fill in the side windows. One here, one here, and a polished black stone block in the middle. Then above that, we'll make this T-shaped pattern of polished black stone on the top. And we'll fill in the rest of the top middle three of the cap with polished black stone. Then we'll take out polished black stone stairs and put four of them facing outward on either side on top here. Now we'll swing down to the back end and on the third block end in the middle, put a lime concrete. Then skip forward one and one on each side like this and extend a row of lime concrete all the way forward on each side. Then we'll do a second layer and we'll go all the way around with that. Right around the back and all the way up the other side. On this layer on the engineer side, put a warp door and then we'll do a third layer of lime concrete.
then come up here and the next layer is going to be polished black stone and bring that all the way up both sides and around this back here then we'll put polished black stone on the back three middle blocks then put a bedrock in this back middle and then extend a line of bedrock up the middle another seven blocks forward. And actually we're gonna knock out seven of these back here and make this mat a little taller. So knock out those polished black stone and put another row of bedrock in the middle underneath it. And we'll do the same thing over here, so knock out these. Then on the sides of the bedrock, we're going to put two rows of iron bars. Same thing over here, two rows of iron bars. Then come up to the front, we're going to put three polished black stone coming across behind the cab. Then on each side, three polished basalt with the pattern going vertical. Fill in the middle with polished black stone. And we'll fill in the rest of this roof on the middle three with polished black stone until the whole roof's filled in here. Now come on top of the back, one block in from the end, and we'll make a plus shape of polished black stone slabs for a fan. Skip a block forward and a daylight sensor in the middle because there's a smaller fan. Skip a block forward and another plus shape of polished black stone slabs. Then we're gonna put an oak trap door inside each of the fans to add detail. Then we're going to come up front here where this polished basalt section is and behind it in the middle put a smoker for the exhaust. Come on top of the front put a slab here, a slab on each side, skip the middle and fill the rest of this with polished blackstone slabs coming back bringing it right back and around this exhaust so that we're right here like this with our slabs. Then skip a block back from that and make a plus shape for the dynamic brake fan. Knock out the middle, put in bedrock with an oak trap door. Then we're going to take an upside down polished blackstone stair behind the polished basalt facing forward on each side. Then we're going to turn and we're going to take out deep slate tile stairs facing outward and we're going to do four of those on each side. Then behind it an upside down backward facing polished black stone stair on each side. So there you have the dynamic brake blister. Then behind each of the polished black stone stairs on either side we're going to put a polished black stone slab. Then we're going to come on top of it, skip two forward from the end, and we're going to put a row of polished black stone slabs coming forward, because the GP30 has this hump that comes across here. We'll bring the slabs all the way up to the cap. Do the same thing here, so skip two forward, bring a row of slabs all the way up to the cap. Next, we're going to come over to the conductor side behind the cap here. And on bottom, we're going to put a row of four lime stained glass panes coming back. Then another row, and another, and then two rows of black stained glass panes. Because this side sticks out top to bottom on the GP30. Now come behind those stained glass panes here, and we're going to knock out a 3x3 three in the lime concrete section. This is where we're going to put our logo. Come through and knock out a 3x3 three three on the other side as well so we know it's exactly lined up. Then we'll put a 3x3 three three of lime concrete in the center here. Then we're going to take out smooth quartz stair and upside down stair facing backwards here and facing right side up on the top. Then two smooth quartz behind it, one smooth quartz in the center here. Then two lime concrete on the side of the center, so that makes our little Burlington Northern logo. 
then of course we have to do it over here but it'll be facing the other way over here so on this side we put two on top two on bottom one in the middle of smooth quartz then an upside down stair facing forward on bottom here and a right side up stair facing forward on the top and then fill these two gaps with lime concrete then we'll make a little reverse L shape in front of that door so there's stairs to get down come down to the back under these iron bars knock out a 2x2 two two here and we'll fill that with lime shulker boxes we'll do the same thing over here so knock out a 2x2 two two under the back of these iron bars and put in lime shulker boxes now come on top of the cab on the conductor side and we need to place a bell up here but normally they won't go on top of the stairs so we're going to use a command to help us here so before we do the command make sure you have a clear spot in your inventory then we're going to go into our command menu we're going to type slash give space at side s space type the word structure then underscore then the word void and then enter it and then wait for the command to pop up and that should give you the structure void block which is basically an invisible block we're going to put it on the second stair back and then put a bell against that invisible block so the bell's up there where it needs to be in the center gap, open a dark oak fence gate for a horn. Now we're going to come on top with black carpet. And around this dynamic brake fan, start filling it with black carpet. Come out to the edges of this. Then around these fans. And all in between here so we cover up these iron bars. And then three on the back three blocks. Then we'll come down here and stand on the side of the front here, crouch, and put a lime carpet on top of this shulker box. Then come around this corner with it, a T-shape on the front porch, around this corner, and we'll have to crouch again to put it on this shulker box. Come behind here, put it on these two stairs, and then we'll come all down this walkway with lime carpet. Come around the corner, a T-shape on this end as well, then we're gonna knock out that block, put in lime wool, and then lime carpet going up this side. And bring it as far forward as you can here. Next, we're gonna do our railings. So take out a birch fence. We're gonna start up on the front here. So right here, next to these stairs, we make a column of four. Here we do a column of three, and then over one. Then up here, a two by two of dark oak fences. Back to birch, right here, up three over one. Then a two by two of dark oak. Then back to birch, here we come up four. Then go to dark oak, back one, up one, and back two. Same thing over here. Back one, up one, back two. Then we'll come work on the back, which is pretty much the same pattern as the front. So four birch right here, then three right here and over one. Then a two by two of dark oak, back to birch, up three right here and over one, and up four right there. Back to dark oak and a two by two. Then come around in front of this with dark oak and start coming all the way up this walkway with it. And when we get right here, we come up one, over one, up one, over two. Then we'll come do it on this side. So come down to the back, connect it up right there, and bring it all the way up this walkway. come right past this stained glass until it's right there. 
Now we're gonna make some banners, so get out a loom and come into it. We're gonna use a lime banner and white dye. Put a vertical in the middle, and then the top left corner, white. New banner. Vertical on the left, vertical on the right, horizontal on top, horizontal on bottom, horizontal in the middle. Switch to lime dye and put a lime border around those two. Then, new banner. We're gonna switch to light blue dye. Make the top half light blue. Then switch to black dye, put a black border around it. Then switch to lime dye, bottom half lime. Then we can come place our banners here. Come up on the side of the nose, put a lime banner here and a lime banner on this side, and we also need one underneath it. And I put it in the wrong spot here, and then knocked out a block trying to erase it, so I had to go grab the block real quick, fill that back in, put a second lime banner under it like this. Same thing over here, so we hide the white from the side view. Then we'll take out this one, this is our window banner, put one here, one here, and one on this side. It won't go on the other side because of the stained glass. Then take out our number banners in front of the shulker boxes and put 181. Same thing over here. In front of these shulker boxes, 181. And now all of our banners are placed. Here I realized when I replaced that block, I used the wrong color. It's supposed to be white. So I had to come in here and knock out that block again. And I had to grab a white concrete to replace it with. So I had to take that back out, put it with white concrete, and then I had to replace the lime banner on the side. Now it's correct. Then on the center of the nose, a glow item frame with glowstone for a headlight. And then down here, two glow item frames with glowstone for ditch lights if you want them. Then a stone button on each side of the nose. Then on each side of the top here, we're going to take out a dark oak sign with our locomotive number, which is 181. And same thing on this other side. Then we're going to hit both of those signs with white dye and then a glowing sack. Then we'll come down and detail the back of it. So on top here in the center, two glow item frames, glowstone for headlights. If you want rear ditch lights, glow item frames with glowstone down here. On the bottom of the polished blackstone portion on each side, we'll put a dark oak sign with our locomotive number, 181. Same thing over there. Then we'll hit those, both with white dye and then a glowing sack. Then we'll run a ladder up this left hand side. Now we'll do the interior, so come in this nose door with prismarine brick slabs. We'll put two slabs here at the same level as the door and keep stacking it up one high down the middle here. In the back we stack it two high, then a column floor to the window here and floor to the window here. On the sides we'll stack them up two high, same thing on this side. Then another two there and one in front of it for stairs. Put a stair on each side like this for seats. In the back middle a blast furnace, glowstone to light up the cab. Turn around, up here a glow item frame with a compass for a gauge and a lever for the engineer. Come down here, put an end portal in the nose for a toilet. Turn around and put a door right here. Then we're going to come out on the nose and stand on it. We're gonna put string in these middle two here, crouch and put lime carpet above the middle, then close this door, crouch and put lime carpet above that. Then finish off the top of the nose with lime carpet. And there we have it folks. We've completed this Burlington Northern GP30. I hope you enjoyed the build. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe and everyone have a great week. Stay safe out there, rail fans.